It wasn't until I got to university that I actually discovered what anthropology was. And I think that, although that was a long time ago, in fact it was something like 40 years ago, um, I think that's still the case, that people don't have an opportunity to, to, uh, to find out what anthropology is before. Um, and what I think its particular merits are is that it um, allows you to combine a number of different interests. First of all, the same kind of interest in, in other people, if you like, that some people study history for. You can study that in, in, a, contemporary, in a contemporary condition. The same kind of interest that might have led you to take uh, A-level economics, for example. You can find a way of doing that through anthropology. The kind of interest that led you to study a-level psychology, you can find a way of doing that through anthropology, or the kind of interest that led you to study uh, a language, or art history, or any, almost any A-level in the humanities broadly, or the social sciences. There's a way of locating that within the whole conversation that goes on in anthropology. And uh, I think the great merit of anthropology compared to many of these other disciplines is that although it seems possibly rather obscure and recondite uh, degree to take is actually rather more vocational, I think, than many other humanities because it, apply, it can be applied to a whole broad range of different kinds of careers afterwards. And I think it's getting that message across. Um, it's a much more applicable education than a history degree is, for example. It's a much more applicable education than some forms of language, for example. So, um, I think it's getting that, that, that message across that has been one of the benefits of being here today. It's trying to get people to realize it's not just about stones and bones. One of the good things about the London Day is that it allows uh, prospective students to understand that there are very different kinds of traditions within this global thing called anthropology. And we, for example, um, had our store next to the University of Bournemouth that have a whole lot of skulls sitting on their desk. Well, we thought that as we don't do biological anthropology at all at Manchester, we ought to have something different. So what we brought was a whole lot of cameras because what our, our specific thing is um, the use of film and video in as, as kind of social research tools, film training. So, um, it was very useful to be able to explain that difference and also more subtle differences between, for example, some anthropology departments are located uh, under the same institutional r roof as an archaeology department. In our case, we're in a different, we're more of a social science anthropology. So you have biological anthropology, archaeological anthropology, social science kind of anthropology, and in other places, anthropology may well be um, connected with kind of regional studies. And all that has quite an important difference on the particular kind of experience you'll have as a student. So I think one of the useful things about this London Day is to make people realize not just what anthropology is, but that within anthropology, there are many different shades of meaning that could make quite a lot of difference to their student experience.